Everybody, welcome back to another episode of Simply Unprofessional. I'm your host, Webby. Join me tonight. We got Devin. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I'm Devin. I'm Devin, here. it's just me and you this week because we can't have Rob on this episode because we're going to talk about Supernatural. Yep. And, and Rob's a big crazy. fan of Supernatural, but he's really fucking far behind. And... He's a huge fan, and he's only on like season five. Yeah. And he says, because every time he tries to watch it, he starts over from the beginning, and then he gets like four or gets, five seasons. Yeah, in. he gets to the same exact spot where Dean turns into a demon, essentially, and then he stops watching it from there because it loses his interest. And I'm just like, dude, just, just skip, skip through parts of those episodes. Do whatever you have to do well, to get. Through. It's not even loses his interest. I think it's that too. It's just that he binge watches all of it until that point, and then by the time it's there, he's just like over supernatural. No, he Which, legit he lo- he loses it. He does not like the demon demon thing. Then just like I don't know why he doesn't just skip it. Just I don't know. It. But yes, Webby we're here. We're going to talk about supernatural. So supernatural. Oh, Fifteen you didn't, fucking one, seasons. First off, all is we're talking about the whole season, all with the whole show. So spoilers. Yeah. One, two. If you didn't know, Dean becomes a demon at some point in the show. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that yeah. happens for like season five or six or something. It happens pretty I think early yeah, on. Five, five is Leviathan. Yeah, so you're looking at like almost arguably the, wor- the worst through. season in Supernatural, arguably. Yeah, so if you haven't seen that yet, man, speed up. You've had years to watch this show. Um, But yeah, spoilers moving on ahead. If you If you have intentions of watching Supernatural... Um, if you don't know what Supernatural is, and you're tuning into this episode, before we get into too much of a spoilery thing, um, it is about essentially two brothers who, they, their job is they are hunters. They, they literally hunt monsters, whether it be vampires, werewolves, wendigos, ghosts, wraiths, demons, uh, demons uh, you name it. And it's their job in this world to essentially kill all those bad things to keep people safe. Yep. Um, I was 12 years old when this show started airing, and that's really weird to say. That is really weird to say. I will. I just looked, and I will say that the very first season of this show aired when the CW was still known as the WB Network. <laughs> yep, yep. So technically, the first season aired on the WB and then they changed their name over to the CW Network, uh, and all of the uh, seasons since have been on the CW Network. Which, I, if I remember, if I if I I don't want to misquote this now, it is the longest running CW show, correct? To I date. believe that is. Uh, I believe that is correct. If you don't count, I think like the. Oh, I I check out back that longest. Okay. Now, while you're looking that up, I will say every season is 20 plus episodes. The final season had 20 episodes, um, except for, I believe, season three. Uh, Season three had 16 episodes. Um, I want to say that was right around the time where the television companies and stuff, they were going through like the writer strike program like thing. Uh, Remember that back in the day? Yep. Uh, so a lot of seasons of, of television shows got cut short that season. This is, uh, it had 16 seasons, right? Or 15? Uh, they had 16 episodes during season three. They had 15 no, 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 seasons uh, of the show. No, 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 I'm talking about Supernatural. 15 seasons, right? 15 yep. seasons, yep. Yep. So Supernatural, yep, is the longest running CW show. Um, it is also tied for one, two. Yeah, 
It's tied for oh, no, one, two, three. It is tied for tenth with one, two, three, four, five other shows. It is tied for the tenth longest running uh scripted US primetime TV series. Wow. All right. I mean, well, mm-hmm. 10th is kind of, I mean, I guess they're top 10, you know, it, everybody it's tied for 10th with five other shows. If you go by episode count, it is number on that list. Three. Now, what is, what other shows is it tied with in the 10th spot? Or here, I just run down the whole list of shows from top 10. It's not, it's not long. Well, let's start uh, number with one. Is, let's start with 10. No, 10 spot. So in the 10 spot, it's, if you go by episode order, um, or amount of episodes, you have the Jack Benny program. Don't even know what that is. It's from the fifties. Okay. It, it started airing in 1950 and it aired in 1965. So there you go. <laughs> um, at 260 episodes, then the next thing on the list would be Criminal Minds. Okay. Which has 15 seasons with 324 episodes. Then you have Supernatural with 15 seasons and 327 episodes. Um, then you have ER on NBC with 331 episodes and CSI with 337 episodes, all with 15 seasons. Okay, and those are all the top 10. Those are the 10th spots? Those are the, 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 the five and the 10th, yep. Okay, so Spot. how many? How, are there only one show in each of the rest now? Yes. Okay, I'm going to guess well, CIS. Oh, let me say. Oh, and not necessarily true. Hold on a second. One, two. So at the, I guess at the next spot, the number nine spot, there's two for number nine. Number eight is by itself. Number seven is two. Um, All right. Well, well let's, go number, the, let's go to number I, nine. I'll just run down the list. I just, I, so technically, okay, so I didn't count duplicates. So technically, if you're looking at it this way, it's actually not top 10. It's higher than top 10. If you're looking at duplicates, one, two, Two, they're tied for three, they're tied for four, five, they're tied for six. So technically, it's in the five of the seventh. So it's number seven, technically, because I, I didn't count duplicates. Okay. So, so here, just, just name off some shows, and I'll uh, I tell think you. I think NCIS for sure is going to be on that list. It, it is, yes. Is it ninth? It is not ninth. Oh, okay. Is it eighth? It's not ninth. It is eighth. It is eighth by itself with okay. eighteen seasons. But that is, I mean, to be fair, only I was at number one and number two are all still ongoing. Are they cartoons? Number one of them are. Is it The Simpsons? The Simpsons, yes. Is that number one? That is number one with thirty-two seasons. Yeah, by by a long shot. I knew one. that. The next, the next closest thing on that list. You want me to run through them real quick so we don't spend all the time on this. Well, I kind of want to try to guess what number two is now. All right, go for it. And it's not a cartoon? Not a cartoon. Okay, so number two is not a cartoon. And it's, is it a game show? No. Ooh, okay. Wow. This is scripted This is scripted TV shows. Okay. So and scripted, game shows technically, by, by definition, can't be scripted. Scripted by TV shows, and it's not a cartoon. Yep. I feel like it's a show you you watched or you have watched at one point or another. What network? Can I ask that? In, NBC. Oh shit. I I huh. I don't know. No, nah, I'm lost, man. I, I... <laughs> It's kind of in your wheelhouse. I'll put it that way. So think it, it's in your wheelhouse for shows that you kind of like. It is I would probably say one of the slower shows. Is it, that, like, is it a crime drama show? It is, yes. Okay, because I have not watched. Honestly, NCIS is one of the only crime drama shows I think I've really I'm watched. Saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, uh, all that in like, Criminal I'm gonna, Minds. I'm say, Criminal uh, Minds uh, what's that? Uh, what's the one? Um, like the, the show is like also they have the special, occasionally. special victims unit there. Uh, that's it, Law and Order. Law and Order. Law, that's it, Law and Order SVU. That's okay. It. I actually have only seen one episode of that show. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like in your wheelhouse, right. of, like you should be aware of the show. Like yeah. you're very much aware of the show because okay. it's kind of like the. I don't say how many seasons of that is there. 
22. As I and, said, it's in number two by a long shot. And is that still running? Yeah. That is still going, yes. The original Law & Order is not, and that's number four. Okay. All right. Okay, so now you go ahead and run through the list. I just, I really wanted to right. try to, I, I, I wanted three? to guess NCIS, and I wanted to try to guess the number one spot, which I got right. All right. Uh, number three is Gunsmoke. Don't know what that is. Uh, it started in the 50s, ended in the 70s. It ran for 20 seasons. That's why, I, in that's why I don't know what it yes. is. <laughs> Started in 1955, ended in 1975. It's Not like an old cowboy show. Like an old cowboy show. Uh, has 635 episodes, though. So it is technically number two in number of episodes. The Simpsons is so number one with 694 in ongoing, as of when this list was updated. Um, you have <laughs> number 20, or number four is Law & Order, uh, okay. which ran for 20 seasons. From 1990 to 2010, with 456 episodes. Okay. Number five is Lassie. Oh, jeez. Okay. I actually used to watch Lassie, the original Lassie, yeah. Yep. Probably your reruns, I would assume, because yeah, it aired yeah, from yeah. 1954 to 1971. Yeah. So like, I'm not that old. I'm not that old, but I definitely, I, I watched, yeah, reruns. I'm not that old immediately out of stuff as being that old. <laughs> Like, I remember when Little House in the Prairie first started airing. Like, God damn it, Webby, how old are you? I mean, I used to always watch, like, the older shows, like the Little Ra- the original Little Rascals. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Three Stooges, same. things like that. Same. same. Uh, after that is Family Guy. Oh, okay. With, oh, okay. With, with 19 seasons. Wow, they've been um, that long, huh? Hmm. Yep, they started in 1999. Wow. I was seven. They started the day after my birthday in 1999, so I was I was legitimately seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> they started New New Year's Eve was the first was the, was the first show, time that aired New Year's Eve, uh, 1999. Interesting. Uh, number eighteen is NCIS, which or not, yeah, number seven is at eighteen is see eighteen seasons one two three four five six seven is NCIS. Um, eight is American Dad. So Seth MacFarlane showing up twice in this man, list. Man, Seth MacFarlane, man, yeah, okay. I mean, the guy's like swimming in money, so I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Uh, after tied with American Dad is Grey's Anatomy. Never watched it. It's like a shitty medical drama. It's yeah, like, I know yeah, what it is. But... Yeah, I I will watch Friends over Grey's Anatomy any day of the week. Not Friends, uh, Scrubs. Or regrets anatomy any day of the week. Um and then you have uh at fifteen seasons after Grey's Anatomy is CSI. Um then you have ER after that, Criminal Minds, Supernatural, the Jack Benny program, Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Uh Bonanza. Now we're getting Bonanza. like the old all the old shows. Yeah. We can all the older shows. Uh Dallas. Yeah. Knott's Landing, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Hilarious show, by the way. Um, King, uh, uh, King of the Hill. All right. Yeah, Hawaii Five O. So their tenth spot for longest running show. They are f- the longest They're running show on CW. For running, I don't tie for number seven, but yeah. but they are the the longest running show in the CW network. Correct. We yeah, did establish that. We did establish that, yes. Okay. Um Man, I mean, there's a lot to talk about as far as the just it, Supernatural as a show. It, seasons. it it blew up as far as a community goes. Um they have their own convention uh each yep. year now. There's Supernatural. Which I feel like shows in this caliber usually do, like the same yeah. thing happened with Buffy. Yep. Like Buffy kind of blew up for a while. Buffy didn't have um, his own con. But then they I don't think cons were as big back then. Nah, they were like they weren't as big day. back then, though. Um, I will say, in my opinion, the you know the beginning seasons of Supernatural were awesome. Right around probably that five six mark, somewhere around there, season five or six, they it started, five it really is, started to slow down for a little bit. Season five is objectively, in my opinion, the worst season. Uh, and then it, it picks back up as far as I'm concerned. Um, now granted it is, it is one of those shows where every episode is, is essentially 
they call it like a monster of the week show. So every episode they're it, they're fighting something it, new, they're hunting five? something new. Wait, I don't want to be wrong with this whole one. What? I want to make sure season five is the Leviathan season before I say something wrong. I know in between the Leviathan the, the the like Leviathan season and like right around there there are some other some really good seasons. Uh I'm just trying to think what one it is. No, season seven is season seven's the Leviathan season. Okay, that is objectively the worst season. <laughs> Yeah. In my opinion, season seven is objectively the worst season. It is. Season I will season say five that... is season five is the Lucifer where they first like had the Lucifer showdown. That's one yeah. of the best seasons. Yeah. Um. And season six is the one where it, it essentially starts off with Dean having a normal ass life, and then Sam comes back. And I think that's the one with all the alphas and stuff. Essentially. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Um. Season seven is the is the is the uh, Leviathan season. Now I will say, there is a f- of okay of the seasons. It is probably the worst season overall. It wasn't technically. It wasn't a bad season. There were and it was entertaining. There were it's, some good things that came out of that season. But, they realized it was a bad season because like even the villains in that season, they almost never touched them again. Listen. The closest Good. things they got to was the Jefferson Starships, but that was it. Like they never touched the Leviathans. Like, Charlie came eight. out of this season, so I can't say it was the it was it was all around bad. I mean, the season could be bad. I mean, we we had good characters introduced, but the season could still be bad. Because my like, girlfriend, those things aren't mutually those I'm things aren't saying. mutually exclusive. I'm just saying. Uh, Felicia Day, I love you. Um. Yeah, I mean, I it's I will say it is too much to go through and essentially give you a breakdown of each season. It is definitely for those of you who have not seen it yet, go watch it. It is a great show. Um phenomenal characters. Uh great soundtrack first off. Just throwing that out there. Um <laughs> Which I read something funny. Oh, where was it? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it was maybe at the top. I was just reading about it. It's, uh, music. Uh, Eric Kripke, the the creator of Supernatural. Um. He wanted to insert a lot of the uh, like a lot of the bands that we hear in the soundtrack, and the CW network at first didn't want to use because that, they don't have the music. money for that, <laughs> right? Uh, like that, that's expensive as hell. Um, but Kripke threatened to quit when the network didn't want to allow the inclusion of these of the of the classic rock soundtracks. Um, I will say that most, all of the songs that you hear on Supernatural, according to this, are from Kripke's personal, um, private collection or whatever, like their music that he listens to. And the one band that they really, that he really wanted to have, but literally was just too expensive, was Led Zeppelin. So you won't hear any Led Zeppelin in Supernatural in the soundtrack. I know they talk about Zeppelin a lot, though. They do mention Zeppelin a lot, and they've listed, they've named several episode titles, uh, several names of the episodes after Led Zeppelin songs. Uh, but some of the song, some of the bands that you will hear featured: uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Bad Company, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Rush, Boston, Triumph, AC/DC is in a lot of them. Uh, you'll hear ACDC on both the season premieres and season finales. You hear a lot of Kansas. A lot of Kansas. I, actually, yeah. What is it? I think it's Kansas is the. That's carry on however it's on, is it? It is. I'm trying to think. They always use. 
I want to say they always use Kansas on the season finale, and they always use ACDC's uh, on season premieres. It's yeah, one or the other. Think, they always I, use the I, same I, I, song. I think it's, yeah, I think it's Highway to Hell on premieres. And, uh, or Back in Black. Or Back in Black. It's always ACDC on the season premiere. I think it's always uh, Carry On My Way with Son. On always the finales, on yeah. the finales. So... That's the sound. That's generally the soundtrack. They do have customized uh, music during the episodes as well. Um, man, I, I, I honestly don't even know where to go from here. Like, it was a right. Who are some of your favorite characters, Devin, in the show altogether? Because there was a I lot of characters. Me, I think for me, on a personal note. Some of my favorite characters are. Ooh. Let's, uh, ex- me, let's exclude one. Sam and Dean being the 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 major. I think the, my the favorite character. character. If you take Sam and Dean out of the equation, I think my favorite character is probably Crowley. Fair, good point. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say I. I'm really struggling between three of them right now. Um, I love Crowley. I love Bobby. And I lo- honestly, I love Lucifer. Yeah, I do like Lucifer. Well, I like Lucifer when he's not played like knockoff Aerosmith. What do you mean? Uh, what season was that? Was that season 14? Oh, the one where he's in a band. To, he, he joins a band. Yeah, where he was like knockoff. He was knockoff like Steve Tyler. Yeah. And he got the chick pregnant. Yeah. Oh, that was as the that was the president. He got the the chick pregnant. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely think Crowley, Crowley and Bobby are two of my favorite characters, hands down. Um, I mean, they're all really likable. I like Garth. Uh, what was the one with the mullet? I know, I always forget his name. Fuck. It's gonna bother Oh, yeah, I need to about, I need to about. Um. Garth, Garth was good for sure, though. I'm trying to think though, yeah, I can't think of his name either, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, he worked at the Roadhouse, or he lived at the Roadhouse, I guess. We don't really know. Um. Oh, let's see. I don't know what else to talk about here, man. It's go watch the show, people. It's a great show, and if you've already seen the show. Watched again. I've watched literally again. watched, like, with the exception of like the season, the 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 finale, the the series finale, because that just recently came up. Uh, I've rewatched all the episodes on Netflix at least three times, probably by now. Yeah, they're all on Netflix, so I mean, um, they're also they're all mainly filmed in what fucking Canada, right? Uh, I think the CW in, in general, the CW in general films a, films a lot of stuff in Canada. Yeah, a lot of it. I think because like they're shot there. Like Supergirl was shot in Toronto at one point. Yeah. Um, I think Flash shoots in like between like Seattle and Toronto or something like that. Like, yeah, it's. All right. The CW shoots a lot of stuff in Canada. Well, super spoilers coming up because I kind of want to talk a little bit more about the. Finales. The finale. Notice I said finales. There's two. I feel like I feel yeah, like there's two. I mean, yeah. When you mentioned that, I was confused, and then I, when I watched the show, uh, I want to say like it was episode like 19 or whatever. Felt like it was going to be that was like that was the end of the series, yeah. and then and there was just, then like there was the additional just, episode. I feel like you could just watch 19 and been like, "All right, cool. Like, I'm good with that, right?" Yeah. And then they had 20, and I was just like, well, all right. So if you haven't seen Supernatural and you don't want spoilers, literally turn off the podcast right now. Right now. If you have seen Supernatural. You don't want spoilers. If you don't want spoilers for the finale, turn off the episode right now. If you've seen the finale and you've watched Supernatural and you just don't want to hear us talk, go fuck yourself. Exactly. Uh 100%. So... In episode nine, so all through, I want to say it was season like fourteen and fifteen. It's it was a, it was a while. We found out, you know, God is essentially on this vendetta course 
against Sam and Dean well, now. It was the end of fourteen. Met a little bit. We actually met God in like season three. We just didn't know we met God in season three. Yep. Like it was like hinted that we met God in season three. Yep. And then no, at first it wasn't even hinted. Like it was just like we, we just met Chuck. Yeah, we thought he was just a prophet. He it was just Chuck. And then after uh after Chuck came like the next time he popped in, like they alluded that he may be God. When he popped in the second time, they alluded like Chuck may be God. Okay, hold on. This this raises an interesting question because I know we've talked about it pre- previously on a different episode uh-huh. of SU. Devin, you personally, <laughs> mm-hmm. if we took God from Supernatural, so i.e. Okay. Chuck, and we put him in a boxing ring against God from Lucifer, i.e. the State Farm guy. <laughs> Allstate guy? The Allstate guy. Is it Allstate or State Farm? I don't remember now. Allstate, Allstate yeah, Jake, I think it's Allstate. It's Jake from State Farm, Allstate, you're in good hands. Yeah, 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 the Allstate guy then. Uh, who, who wins that fight? <laughs> Honestly, I, I think the Allstate guy's got the reach. <laughs> Chuck's, yeah, Chuck's a small dude. The reach. I think the Allstate guy definitely has the reach. If we're just talking about just pure shit up boxing, I yep. gotta go with the Allstate guy. Yep, same. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go with Allstate God. Yeah. Oh shit! That oh. slogan works for both Allstate and God. <laughs> God, you're in good hands. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Chuck's God, and at the end of season, what, 14, like, he ends up, like, snuffing out Jack, who's a Nephilim, and he, like... Well, he had this whole, like, elaborate plan where he was, like, you know, they were gonna, like, save the world, and the only way to save the world was they were gonna have to kill... Each other. Each other. Kill each other. Yeah, God has a hard-on for Sam and Dean killing each other. We find that out in fucking season, like, four. Like, that's their whole big revelation is Sam and Dean are supposed to kill each other. They were supposed to be Michael and Lucifer to do it and this, that, and the other thing. Then it was just, okay, I just want Sam and Dean to kill each other. Um, So, like, he gives Sam this gun that's like a... uh, Can kill... It can can hurt anything. It can kill kill anything, anything. but but it's a linked gun. So, whoever, whoever shoots the other person... Takes suffers the, the same effect. Right. So it will ultimately when they when they shot him, that's when they found out that it would have ultimately ended in them killing each other. Right. Because they did research on the gun and they found out that if like if you know Dean shot uh Sam, Dean would have died too. Right. Sam shot Dean, Dean would have died Sam would have died too. So, so they found that out. And then when they found that out, they kinda got mad at God, rightfully so. Yeah, so at the end of season 14, Sam shoots God in the shoulder, and he also gets essentially shot in the shoulder, and so God fucking throws a hissy fit, stomps his foot, cracks open hell, and then essentially starts a zombie apocalypse, and a demon apocalypse, and then just GTFOs, and that's that's essentially where we pick up in 15, is Um... Sam and Dean dealing with that? Yeah, that, and then we have that deal getting dealt with, and then after, yeah, I and mean, then later in the season, he starts just snuffing out universes. Yeah, well, before we get to that point, I, I want to say the first impactful thing that 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 I felt in season fifteen was when they, Rowena? Cl- w- yeah, when they closed hell and Rowena killed herself to do it. I mean, killed herself. Air quotes. I mean, air she, quotes. She yeah. Became- you became the ruler. Yeah, of hell, but at like, the time clearly. I didn't know that. And Rowena was one of my favorite characters. I love Rowena. I mean, Rowena's dope. Not her, gonna her, lie. Her, 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 her. Not gonna lie, I'd hit that. I know you would. Yeah, I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, yeah. Then we find out that she becomes the queen of queen of hell. So you know, you, you I felt less bad. I felt better about it. Um, she's in a good spot. I feel. Um. What was the next impactful thing that really happened? Probably. Cass. Well, no, he he killed Jack too. He cracked open the earth, and then he he fucking snuffed out Jack. Well, I already I already said they snuffed Jack out. That happened in fourteen. Uh, that happened at the end of fourteen. Yeah, happened in fourteen. But then that was them bringing trying to bring Jack back, and then that's when we find out 
in this later in this in the same season in fifteen. You find out episode one that Jack comes back as there's like another demon inhabiting him. Yep. Um, which is trying to help them? Question mark. He has like a plan. He he has like this big elaborate thing to like get on their good side and then go down. And he needs Cass to read Enochian, or actually to sing Enochian, to open up this box in Lilith's tomb to get this horn, so he could essentially consume all the souls that are free and close up hell and and become a god himself. Yeah. That's, that was it, his it, overall it, plan, but Cass ended it ended, up fucking it ended him. very it ended very anticlimactic for him. Yeah, Cass just does his little smiting ability and burns the shit out of him and kills him. Yep. Um but then Rowena ends up dragging all the souls back to hell and becomes queen. Uh I think the next really impactful part for me was probably Cass later on in the season. Yeah. Um, you find out that essentially death is now Billy because obviously we all, we know from earlier seasons that death got killed by his own scythe. I've, I've never liked Billy. I didn't really care for Billy either. Um, I never liked Billy. And so she became the new death and she's like making a deal with something with an entity called the empty. Well, keep in mind, Bill, Billy's whole deal. We find out her whole deal from her character introduction is she just wants to balance the scales. She yes. wants to like, everybody has a place they need to go. Like if you died in the past, you need to stay dead. Yep. She, that's how she feels like uh, there is, there is, there is no second chances with Billy. Right. Yeah, I just really I, I don't like Billy. Well, I mean, she she got hers in the end, so that's good. Uh, you know, Dean ends up cutting her with Death's scythe, uh, which ends up becoming like infected, and we find out that Billy ends up fucking the one thing Billy truly fears, or Death truly fears, is the empty, uh, and the empty wants Billy's head on a platter, but couldn't get to this world without being summoned here. And we find out that Cass, when Cass went to the empty the first time, made a deal. They call it something else. Like, I don't remember. The entity is called the empty, but I think they, they call the actual place something else. But in any, in any case, it's just a void of pitch black nothingness. And we find out that the entity, like the the empty, just it's wants to purgatory. sleep. No, it's not purgatory. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you, man. Purgatory. But the empty just she just wants to sleep, dude. That's all she wants. She just wants peace and quiet. And ever since meeting Cass, that's the last thing she's gotten is peace and quiet. But she made a deal with Cass that essentially the. The moment he finds true happiness, that will be what summons her. And as Death was essentially kicking down the door to a room that Cass and Dean were in, um, essentially hiding from Death, because Death wanted Dean dead, <laughs> like, like bad. And, uh, like Billy wanted Dean dead before she even became death. And uh, then there was like this big heart to heart talk with, with Cass and Dean. And I'm not going to lie. That's like, that was the first part in season 15. I started getting super teary eyed. Like I started like, it, it was, it was a sad moment for me because I knew what was happening, but it was so heartfelt between Cass and Dean at that, at that point too. And Cass essentially just essentially just tells Dean that he loves him, and doing this truly is making Cass happy, which then summons the the empty, and the empty like reaches out and like consumes Billy immediately, because uh, there was that vendetta there. They both lied to it, or Billy lied to it, um, which essentially saves Dean. Uh, but then Cass and Billy are both gone. Um, 
and then Dean goes and we progress the story. Uh, him, Sam, and Jack, because Jack is now back at this point, is are, are just trying to find a way to to stop God, because God is literally at this point snuffing out galaxies and planets, and he's making it to where this Sam and Dean is now the only Sam and Dean left. Um, and they devise this plan, and it goes tits up. <laughs> And eventually, you feel you 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 find that God he, God has the upper hand, and he knew what was happening the entire time, and he literally just starts blinking people out of existence. He he pretty much Thanos snaps on a much wider scale, uh, to the point where it's only Sam, Dean, and Jack left. Uh, he gets rid of everyone else. Um, yep. Then. Very rude. It's very, very rude. They find Michael. I believe. I Did that, did that happen after or before this? I want to say it happens after because they were lured to the church. It they, happens they, after. They find Michael. Michael realizes what his dad's up to. Uh,. They have the Book of the Damned, or they have Death's Book, but they can't open it. But Michael can, so... Um, no, Michael couldn't, because that's why they brought Lucifer in, too. Well, they originally tried... They No, they originally tried to get him to open it. He tried, he couldn't. And that's when Lucifer showed up with... Because Death... With a Reaper. The, the, with a Reaper, because the last... The I think is it the closest Reaper or the next Reaper that dies after Death dies becomes Death becomes Death right. So uh, he, kills he brought a Reaper, Reaper and then killed her. So then she becomes Death. Opens and then up the she book. goes, opens the book and reads it, and then Lucifer kills dies. Death <laughs> before she can finish her what she's saying. Lucifer kills Death. Yeah. Which lore wise, I don't know how I feel about that. Me neither. Uh, yeah, me neither. But hey, she I guess she was she was new at her job, didn't know her weaknesses yet. So, Lucifer, I I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where it's her first day on the job, she's super weak deaf and then like it just exponentially grows stronger and stronger. But I I'm 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 willing to look past that. Then there's like a fight between Michael and Lucifer. I think God snuffs Lucifer out of existence. <laughs> He just like blinks him away. No, uh, no. Uh, my, Lucifer's like taunting Sam and Dean again, and he's about to leave. And then Michael stands up and stabs him with the Archangel Blade. Oh yeah, that's right. And, and then, he stabs him with the Archangel Blade, which then kills him again. Yeah, and then um, God shows up, and Michael tries to switch sides back to God's side. And then, and then God snuffs them out. Well, Dang. they find out. Well, they find they open the book. After that, the book's open. They open the book. Look at the book. It's completely. It's blank. Yeah. Um, it's blank. And then they, uh, Sam comes up with an alternative plan on where to go, which is like by the docks and do this ritual or whatever. But they don't tell him that. They yeah. fake. They basically fake the plan. I think. Or yeah. I forgot how they did because the plan did kind of work. Or didn't? It, oh, it, it for sure something. works on the dock or at the beach. Well, no, I mean like. Oh yeah, no, because that's where they, Michael. I think they get Michael yeah, there. They faked it because they knew Michael was going to turn, but yeah. I can't remember what they did. That's what I think. What it was. they did that to start Jack absorbing the power. That's what that ritual yeah. was for. Yeah, that's what it was. I'm like, what was that ritual for? They did that to like I think they did that I think to supercharge Jack or something like that. They did yeah, that anyway. because they, by they the time like God a, by the time God showed up and started like using his power, like when he was there, Jack had already started absorbing power from God. Yeah, uh, just in the they background. And then, and then uh, he was already absorbing power like in the background anyway. And then we see Chuck fucking decide, oh, I'm just gonna beat you guys to death with my bare hands because I can. And he starts throwing a whoop into Sam and Dean. Uh and then eventually it just he can't anymore. And then he realizes that Jack essentially took all of his power. Uh 
and instead of killing God, well, he, well, he try he beats them down like you know pulp, and then he's about to like turn and kill Jack, and he tries to kill Jack and doesn't work, and he's like, uh, what? And yeah. then Jack kind of like, I think Jack like snaps and like throws him across the ground or breaks his leg or something like that. Yeah, but essentially Jack takes every last scrap of his power and leaves him pretty much as a human and decides not to kill him or not to, you know, blink him out of existence just to leave him there powerless as a human. And then him, Sam and Dean leave and Jack with this newfound power essentially just stands in the middle of a road somewhere, closes his eyes and just repopulates the the planet back to the way it was. Uh, and then kind of has like a small little heart to heart talk with Sam and Dean, and then just literally walks and fades away. Uh, at, yep, presumably I mean, as the new god. Could have been the ending to the game. Um, the game, any ending to the show, hundred percent could have been the ending to the show. Oh, for sure, because after that, they Sam and Dean, as they get in the car to drive away, they do all of like these flashback scenarios of. All the way from back from season one on, there's just like going through series of like flashbacks and 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 all this all the scenes of them doing various things in the show, and then they end the episode, and that 100 percent could have been the end of the season. Yeah, and it would have been phenomenal there too. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they roll into another episode, and I was not expecting this as an episode. Like I honestly thought I wasn't paying attention to the episode number I was on. And I thought that was the last episode. Uh, but then so Sam and Dean, like, oh, the they go, episode, oh, they must have, like, oh, they must have like a behind the scenes or like a making of or whatever. Honestly, that's what I thought it was at first, but then it went into a whole, just a straight up new episode. And I was like, okay. And it started off like a normal ass supernatural episode where they're at the bunker and then they, they catch a break on like a lead on a hunt and they'd go out for a hunt. The only thing that, you know, I mean, you know, it, it even started off like with somebody like dying. Yeah. Like usually most professional episodes start off with somebody dying. Yep. Like terribly. It yep. even started off that, that same way. This was just a generic supernatural episode. Uh, and then Sam, Sam and Dean hunt, you know, they, they show up as FBI, they get their clues. They find like this old barn. They find the missing kids. They start hunting these vampires it was just a nest of vampires. Uh, granted, it was one of the vampires that they met way earlier on in the show, um, in the in the seasons. But still, it was just a nest of vampires. And I will say this, Devin, you are one hundred percent correct. Me and you talked about this. There is during this fight scene in this barn, they keep just focusing in on just this sharp piece of rebar sticking out of the wall. It would have been so much better had they just not focused on that at all. Like yep. not not let into it. Had it in that very first scene where you see it, you know it's present there, and then just never showed it again. Yeah, and then you had you would have had the same reaction Sam did yeah. at the end of that scene. Yep. Where you know you walk up, you know he kind of just like pats him on the shoulder, like because so what happens during the fight scene? You know they're fighting off. Dean's like fighting. You know vampires kind of throwing him around. Um, and the vampire drives him back against this rebar, and, and, and it's stabs the last him the vampire standing. The last vampire standing, and he, you know, he's kind of. It looks like he's just like. It looks like from like if you exclude the rebar, it looks like he's just struggling with the vampire, like holding him off. Yep. And then Sam comes up and beheads him. And then he kind of just looks over at Dean. And he's like, you know, he, he pats him on the he pats him on the chest. He's like, all right, hey, come on, hey, let's go, let's go, yeah. Good job. And then Good Dean, job. and then and then uh, Dean kind of like pats himself down a little bit. He's like, I don't think I'm going anywhere, man. Yeah, he's like, what do you mean? And like, I will tell we, you this: we had that same exact. We were, we as viewers would have had that exact same reaction yeah. of Sam, like, "All right, man, good, good fucking work. Let, let's go." Yeah, and then Dean would have been like, "I ain't going nowhere, man." I, like, what do you mean? I will say this: even though they did focus in on the rebar, and I knew what was going to happen, and they kind of preluded to it a little too much. Man, when he started talking to Sam, that whole conversation, I bawled like a fucking baby, Devin. I had paper towel in my hand. I was like wiping my eyes. I just the rest of the the rest of the episode really just got me in the feels. And on that and on that day, the rivers in New Hampshire rose. <sighs> Dude, they did. 
I'm not going to lie. And so Dan, you know, Dean and Sam, they're having a heart to heart talk. And then like towards the end of it, Dean's just like, just Sam, just you know, promise me it's going to be okay. You know, just you're going to be okay. I'm going to be you okay. Love- I do love the meme though that kind of came out of it. Of I haven't seen saying, any memes. Just the meme of saying it's okay, you can go now. Just just oh. means you can instantly die. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, essentially, you know, Dean dies right there, and it shows Dean. You know, he goes he goes to heaven, and he's walking around, and he walks. He walks by this dilapidated, like this somewhat dilapidated wooden building out in the middle of a forest. And he looks confused and he looks lost at first. But then Bobby, you hear Bobby clear his throat and offer him a beer. And he sits with Bobby for a little while. And Bobby's telling him all about how heaven, you know, got rebuilt because over the course of all the seasons, heaven took a tumble, hell took a tumble. They all, they, you know, things got different. It's under new management now, so to speak. And how, you know, Rufus is up here. He lives, you know, to the north. John and Mary have a place out to the west. And, you know, all this other stuff. And he's kind of just reminiscing with Dean. And then, uh, you know, Dean essentially says how much he misses Sam. And Bobby says not to worry. Time works a little differently here. He'll see him soon. And then uh, Dean decides he's going to go for a ride. In his 1967, I believe. 1967 Impala. Uh, And he just starts driving. Listening to the tunes. Driving down this dirt road. And while they're doing that, it starts kind of fast forwarding through sections of Sam's life. So it shows Sam hunting still. Then it shows him. Uh, I don't know if it ever actually shows him with like a wife, but obviously he has one because he ends up having a son. They, no, no, they do show his wife like in the background, but like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know if maybe it was like, cause it wasn't, they didn't like ever say it was or wasn't Eileen, but they kind of just like, didn't they never showed her like her face clearly? So I don't know if it was supposed to be like Eileen, right? And because of COVID, they just couldn't get her back on the set, right? So, I uh, but like because they, they, they never gave us like a, a close shot, like they never gave us like a shot of that, they never gave us like a shot because I imagine if it was like Eileen, it would have been like you know, we they would have had that you know, the interaction of like him and Eileen getting together, and then it would have been you know, um, like. Maybe because we didn't see her on his deathbed, we would have assumed like she died first. Right. You know, it would have been the interaction of like him being there, like with her leaving. But it did show he, he had a son. It showed he had a son, and, and then, then it, it shows like, him. He, oh, when he was playing, when he was playing baseball with his son, like you saw the wife in the background. Right. But it it, it was like out of yeah. focus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it shows him, you know, him and his son doing his son's homework, and he's like a little bit older. He's starting to get like gray hair. And then it shows his son later on in life and him doing stuff. And then it shows one scene where he looks much older and he just goes out into the garage and six sits in the Impala. Are you laughing? I am laughing at the gray wig. Cause like, at least on like his deathbed, they actually like, they actually like painted his hair. They actually like, you know, they actually dyed his hair on his, on his deathbed. But when he went out of the car, it was just like a cheap wig. Oh, Hey man, I don't care. Regardless, when he went out to Super the car, Dad, I started Super crying Dad. even harder. Super Dad has always been kind of campy, so like I'm cool with it because Super Dad has always been kind of campy, so I'm not even mad about it. You're, listen, you're, bre- you're you're breaking this emotional moment with laughter. Okay, it's okay. No, because okay. I'm starting to cry again thinking about it. Don't cry. Anyway, then it you. shows his kid on his deathbed, and all the while, in between these little shots of him well, and his Well, him kid, on his deathbed with well, his yeah. kid, not his that, kid on his deathbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, that got I, dark. I, no. His kid's dead. <laughs> his kid died. He went down to Texas. Find out his kid's a vampire. Here. You just find out his kid's a vampire. Um, no, so... All, all in between all these different scenes, you just see Dean just driving down this dirt road. Then he ends up stopping on a bridge in the middle of fucking nowhere over this river, and he walks over and just kind of leans on the pole and just like admires the view. 
Uh, and then after the Sam's deathbed scene, you see Dean, and then he just kind of like does that half smile, and then Sam's there, and it's young Sam again. It's not like decrepit old white haired Sam. <laughs> That would be kind of funny though. If it, like, if it, like, <laughs> but like, what the fuck just, happened to you? If it, if it just took like some time, it just took like some time. I almost, although I almost kind of feel like that would have been like cool if it took like some time for him to like age back a little bit. So then like Dean would have had like the, the fulfillment of like, yeah, like say, like Sam lived a good life. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I like, mean, that saw, makes you like, wonder. He, like, he saw Sam old, you know, he saw Sam being like, you know, as, as an old man for a minute and then slowly kind of, age backwards to like his you know like well, his prime age that would be kind of cool he would have sort of like nodded his head and like yeah well you know, here's the thing now here he now here's life. the thing did sam revert back to his prime age because he's in heaven because if so how come bobby wasn't in his prime age or was bobby's that, age his prime age maybe that was bobby's prime Ooh, age. that's rough on bobby all right <laughs> because bobby was still an old dude in that episode uh, hey man, heaven works in mysterious ways. That's all I gotta say. Yep. Yep. Um, maybe, may, maybe you take the form in which you most you 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 choose. Yeah, when you die. fair. And Bobby was but the the show essentially. Or maybe it's all perspective. Maybe it's all perspective. Maybe the person you're looking at sees you the way they want to see you. Oh yeah, maybe. Um, but then the show ends essentially with Sam and Dean hugging and just looking out over this bridge. And then it cuts to black, and then it comes back with Sam and Dean. You know, at, you know, they're actors, Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki, and all of well, a lot of the cast who were they at least wanted in more that people final there because they talk about they talk about you know they talk about his their their parents. They wanted yep. all those people in heaven. COVID fucked everything. Um, twenty twenty fucked COVID, it all. It fucked it all up. Um, but it did show them essentially giving that heartfelt thanks to all the fans. And then the camera panned out. They, they had to have used like a drone or something, but the camera, that was, that was for sure. Drone footage. Yeah. And then they panned out and you just see, you know, the Impala and all the cast on the, on the bridge. And that was, that was where they ended it. I thought that was a phenomenal ending too. I honestly, both episodes were great endings to the show. Yeah. Um, No, I mean, both work really well. And like like I asked you before, because you had watched the season finale while it, when it aired, I waited for it for like the couple weeks for it to get on Netflix. Yeah, well, and, I watched it the next day. And I and I I remember I had asked you, "Am I going to be upset?" And you didn't know how to answer that question. And after having watched that, I understand why. Like it was emotional, and I was very sad, but at the same time, I. I felt like they wrapped it up well. Like they, they wrapped it up well. It and wasn't I feel just like one of those like everybody got what the they wanted. Dirt endings that well, I think everybody, everybody got what they wanted, right? Like, yeah. like Dean's always said it from like the beginning. He's like, he's like, this is this is how I'm going out, right? Like, yeah, he wanted go to go out fighting. on a hunt. Yeah, he wanted to go out on a hunt. Like he's always said that he's like he, that's been his ideal way to go out. Like he's and, never pictured himself with like a family and like settling down. Right. Like, and even when he had know, a family, he was always that hunter instinct, you know, was always just right there. Yep. Uh, yep. But he we was, have found out over the season. He's always preferred to go out on a hunt. And, and so. Sam, Sam is usually, he was, he was more of the family oriented person, you know, and Dean wanted that for him. So, but yeah, I don't know. Like uh, to me, Supernatural will will always be one of those shows where if somebody asks me, "Oh, what's name some of your favorite TV shows?" it will make the list. Um it is an oh, all-around sure. great show. It was a great cast. Um I've been, oh, sure. since then I've watched a lot of like uh interview footage from like the various cons and stuff that some of the various casts have done. Man, those are hilarious. Have you ever seen have you ever seen their their footage like that from like, you know, recordings or whatever from con panels? Yep, 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 yep. Dude, it's hilarious. It is. It absolutely I, is. I love the one where they have Misha Collins and they ask him they they're like, "Oh, we heard you're really good at impressions and that you do Lucifer very well." And 
<laughs> so Misha Collins did a, did a thing of Lucifer. Uh, and he's like, I think it was spot on. It was nothing like what the guy who played Lucifer sounded like. But he's like, oh, no, no, no. I, I did it. That was spot on. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and Jesus, having found out how Sam and, or how Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles act on set, I don't know how half the people on there got away with doing what they did. Like, how, how people sounded so serious all the time. Because, like, Jensen Ackles even said, like, especially during the serious scenes, when they're doing, like, a face-to-face thing, whoever's not in the scene will be trying to get the other people to laugh constantly. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so. But it was good. And we're right around that hour mark now. Look at that. Look at us. Look how cool we are. We, but, we, we are so good at our jobs that we could just be like, we're going to talk about whatever. And we always stop at an hour. Yeah, just, just about. about. Just about. That's, don't fact check me on that, people. Don't go back and like listen to episodes like, this is a 45 minute. No, no fuck you. Like, that, <laughs> yeah. We're perfect. That's why you tune in every week. We're, we're perfectly perfect. imperfect. We're simply yep. unprofessional people. Jesus. It's right in the name yeah. of the show, but one, like one one week, don't be surprised if we just if we just release the episode that's like twenty seconds and just us just coming in going, we're simply a professional, yep. and we leave. And that's it. Mike, Mike drop, you'll, like, you'll just hear damn. something drop in the background, and then you, they're gonna be like, "Oh my god, how dare they? They're like they're, that was so unprofessional of them." Wait a minute, and we're gonna be like, "We got this." You're gonna be like, "Ah, oh, those guys got me. They got me." Now I do want to just release like a thirty second episode. Like where, like, where our voice recordings are shorter than the intro and outro music. <laughs> yep. Well, look forward to that in the future, folks. I apologize ahead of time for how ripped off you feel that week. Uh, so with that being said, Devin, we do need a life advice with Devin before we do this wrap up. And I have a science corner with Webby. Oh, because Rob's corner. not here. So what life would you like advice. to do first? Do you want me to do my science corner with Webby or do you want to do life advice with Devin? Do the science corner with Webby first. Okay, then you're going to be advice. very impressed, but it's not going to take very long for me to get through this. Are you ready? Not yet. Hold on. I'm not ready yet. I got to get mentally prepared for this. Okay. So this, okay, go. this week's science corner with Rob slash Webby. Guys, the sun is fucking super hot. That's all I got to say about that. Although I do have a question, Devin. And I know you're not you're not necessarily necessarily the science guy, but you're not not the science guy. What's up? And I guarantee you the answer's I mean my answer would be it's not cost efficient, I suppose. Why don't we just shoot all of our trash at the sun? It would just literally incinerate the trash. It would be it's it would be too expensive. Like hold on for a second. Like on based on like how much trash you you could take in one go, like So a just like a like the SpaceX um, like little small Falcon that went up. That launch cost fifty seven million dollars. Well, people. I mean, so build, like like launching like building like this giant like thing that holds a bunch of trash would one require like a huge rocket. You have a lot of boosters to get that into space, and trash is heavy, so it's a lot of extra weight and drag. Uh, it would legitimately just wind up. Yeah, yeah. Like the average, so let's see, space shuttle program retired. NASA said it cost an average. So uh, back in the day here, whatever. Um, before the space shuttle program retired, NASA said it cost an average of four hundred fifty million dollars each launch to launch a spacecraft. Jesus Christ! Listen, four hundred fifty million dollars could be put to such better use than shooting somebody out into space. Debatable, but yes. I mean, 
Rob, if you, you're not going to listen to this episode either because you haven't watched Supernatural yet, I will bring this up to Rob and I'll, I will have Rob talk about this next week on SU as well. Yep. There's got to be a cost. I love how random conversation with me. I love about, uh, how the a random conversation with me and Rob about microwaving somebody turned into a science coin with him. Well, so I, asked, I was like, Rob, like, what happened? What happened if you microwave somebody? Like, how I what exactly happens? He was like, hmm. I'm like, you know what? That's your science corner with Rob this week, Rob. You f- you figure out who microwaves. Also, like, what happens if you like microwave somebody? a microwave that you would have in your kitchen, right? Yeah. Notice majority of microwaves are all relatively the same size. Okay. Uh, average, yeah. Now, do microwaves like that for heating up food and cooking food in like a kitchen? Do they have to be that size to be effective? Or could you actually have like a microwave like the size of a fridge to be able to microwave more foods at once? Or would that just pump your house full of like unnecessary radiation and you die super fast? Probably the second one, but more importantly, like why? Like Like I've why would you need to microwave with... that much food? Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, if you're having, I don't know, I, like, I don't have an answer for that question, <laughs> but, like, if you wanted a microwave that's, like, a lot bigger than what you have. You're hosting a party, and I got a microwave of these chicken tenders. Yeah. If you got a microwave chicken tenders for a party you're hosting, you shouldn't be hosting a party. Listen, <laughs> I'm hosting a party, and I have to microwave all these cans of beefaroni. <laughs> oh, no, but you get a big pot. <laughs> Listen, why are you microwaving I want to know why it is microwaves oh. are all like the same size. Like, who determined that? Hold on, world's largest. I mean, microwaves do come in come in sizes. No, we're gonna make Rob research this. Don't research this, Devin. Don't waste your time. No, no I'm not wasting my time. We need a life advice with Devin. Life advice. With Devin. Life advice with Devin. Be happy with the size of your goddamn microwave. I mean, that could be it. That there are people in New Guinea who don't even have microwaves. Um, I'm not wrong. Well, I got to keep tradition up and send you, and send you a, uh, a, a, an image. Oh, image file. Uh, image file during SU. Where's this? You put this under the dumbass chat. No, you didn't. No, I just PM'd it to you. PM to me. <laughs> okay, here. I, what's worse is the fucking Wookie picture right above it. It's just, it's throwing me off. Like, it's really messed up. All right, life advice with Devin, then we'll do our wrap ups. Um, I mean, I, you know what? You know what? Uh, this life advice, I think is, it's, it's a Mark Twain, but this life advice works perfect for supernatural. You go to heaven for the climate. You go to hell for the company. True statement. I mean, we've, yeah. our family, we've always kind of had that expression of, uh, you know, we're all going to hell, but at least we'll know everyone there, you know, cause yep. yeah. Uh, all right. Well, with that being said, that's Life Advice with Devin. Devin, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter at DMP underscore Pookie and on Twitch at Mr. D3 uh, streaming soon-ish. Um, I'm just trying to work some kinks out. Streaming soon-ish. Uh, and as always, you can find me on eBay. Uh, stealing, stealing milk. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. I guess that's an inside joke for me now. <laughs> got to see it uh as always everybody thank you for listening downloading whatever it is you did to listen to this episode uh we love each and every one of you thank you all for who made it out to the live stream um we appreciate each and every one of you um you guys can follow me on twitter at jacks forest walker all one word on twitch at dm webby uh, and on instagram at patrick.webster52 where I post funny pictures every so often and on eBay at buying a bigger microwave. Um, until next time, everybody fuck booster gold. Fuck booster gold. FBG. 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 
Webby, I saw a movie that I want to watch with you, but it, it, it's going to make your head explode because it made my head explode. But Dude, I feel like it's a good movie. I saw a movie that I want to watch with you, too. What movie? Fox and the Hound. I'm lying. That's going to make me cry, and I don't want to cry in front of you. Good movie. It is a good movie. My, mine is still favorite. This is Beauty and the Beast.